Hey scholars, welcome to another edition of PhD in Me TV, pursuing a higher degree in me. I'm your student teacher, Empress Shona, and we are here today with our daily bread, okay? Our morning word for the day, our morning meditation. And so I'm excited about it and I hope you are. You need to get that word every day because faith come by hearing. And of course, if I say you, I am including me. Amen? All right, so today's morning word is John 16 and 33. And it says, it is in you, Lord Jesus, that I have peace. In this world, I will have tribulation, but I will be of good cheer because you have overcome the world. That was John 16, 33. And we'll do one more. I have been set apart for your gospel, O oh God. I am among those who are called to belong to Jesus Christ. And that is from Romans 1, verse 1, and verse 6. Okay? So those are your scriptures for today. And I'm just going to take a few more minutes to just kind of grab some nuggets from the word that we just read but i want to say those scriptures by themselves in case that's all you have time to listen to because really it's the word that is the tool that matters okay the most all right and how holy spirit speaks to you through that word is what's for you okay and so the nuggets nuggets that i share just from these two little scriptures that is what Holy Spirit is saying to me. And that is what is so, and so, and if that blesses you and that edifies you, wonderful. But the most important thing is what is God in you saying to you, okay? That's what you've got to learn um, to discern, okay? And so let's go back through that. Um, but if that's all you can get, you're done. You got your word, play it over and over and over again. Okay. But I'm going to go ahead and get into this just a couple more minutes. So it says, it is in you, Lord Jesus, that I have peace. Okay. Once you get to know Jesus, you can start operating in the fruit of peace. Okay and just staying there. And one of the reasons why you can do that is because you start knowing the power of Jesus, okay? And when I say of Jesus, I mean Jesus in you. And how do we have Jesus in you? By studying his teachings and learning his teachings, okay? Most Bible have them in red letters, okay? So studying the teachings of Jesus, okay? That's how we get Jesus meditating on his words that's how we get jesus in us otherwise he's just a figure a historical figure some say mythical figure um he's just a figure okay but once we study his teachings that's how we get jesus inside of us amen okay so once you are in jesus and Jesus says, I am the vine, you are the branches, okay? Then we get him in us and we become a product of him and we have peace. But that does not mean we're not gonna have hard times in this world. The Bible says we will have tribulation, but I will be of good cheer. That means the peace didn't leave. There will be still a peace within you. Okay, even though you have tribulation. And I know there are certain things that people go through and you just can't find it. You cannot find it. You cannot find that peace. You cannot feel that peace. I get it. But that just means you've got to go deeper and deeper and deeper in Jesus for that peace. Because remember, it says, it is in you that I have peace. Okay, when you find that you cannot find it, guys, that's when you need to pick up this word. All right? 
And then it says, because you have overcome the world. You have overcome the world. You have overcome this world system. Okay? You've overcome the thought patterns of, you know, the physical mind. You've overcome those things. And I know that you're my master teacher. And you're telling me that if you did it, I can do it because I am in you. And in those moments where I'm so weak that I can't, I can hide in you and just rest until I get my strength. Come on now, that is, that's, that's something you want. <laughs> that's something you want. And that's a beautiful thing. I gotta make videos to get deeper and deeper into these things, but these are our daily nuggets, so I'm gonna keep it brief, okay? But I'm telling you guys, I say that, I say that all the time. And the reason why I say it is because it's a reminder to myself because I'm not kidding, I can go on and on with one strip scripture for a long time. So what you're seeing is me practicing self-control and self-discipline because I love getting into the Word. I'm telling you, the empowerment, the enlightenment, the encouragement that I get from the Word is second to none. It is truly second to none, okay? And as you go over it every day, um, you will start to crave the Word, okay? All right. And so then the second scripture was Romans chapter 1, verse 1 and 6. And it says, I have been set apart for your gospel, O God. That's the good news. Listen, guys, there are all manner of religions, all manner of philosophy, including atheism, all manner of mindsets, okay, science, you name it, okay? But there are some of us who have been set apart, who have been set apart for the gospel, for the good news of Jesus Christ. It says, I am among those who are called to belong to Jesus Christ, okay? And I am one. It was handed down to me from my grandmother, the right Reverend Essie Lee Jackson. It was, and she is now an ancestor, she's gone on. It was handed down to me from her. I didn't ask for it, okay? But I did grow to the point where now I have decided to make Jesus my choice, okay? But I've also been called to belong to Jesus Christ. Not all are called to belong to Jesus Christ. And that does not mean that they're gonna go to hell, okay? Because this is Christian spirituality, all right? I'm, you, you're gonna find something different on PhD in me, okay, TV and with Empress Shona. So I'm just gonna leave that at there. And I have love for all people of the light, all um, of those who are created by the Most High, okay? Um, and I have love for all who are in the light. I even have love for all who are in darkness, but I have a certain borders, boundaries, and tolerances for that, okay? So that's a whole other situation too, but what well, we're concentrating on, what I'm sharing with you through this scripture is some of us are called to Jesus Christ. And that is a calling, a separation. We've been set apart for that gospel. We may or may not have even asked for it, but that is what we genuinely are. We are called to belong to Jesus Christ. Other people have other things going on. Some of it's positive, some of it's negative, okay? But I have been called to belong to Jesus Christ, all right? And then I have made that decision to um, to walk in that calling, all right? And so I'm excited about that. And some of you need to go ahead and yield to the call. You too, you're all over the place. You're doing this, you're doing that, you're doing this, you're doing that. You're doing all manner of religion. You're peeking here, you're peeking there. You're just into everything. You are doing witchcraft. You are all over the place. And like I said, those things are what they are. I am not here to condemn. But some of y'all need to put all that stuff down and walk in your calling of belonging to Jesus Christ and him alone because as your master teacher, because that is your calling and you are all over the place and you need to go ahead and get anchored in Christ, okay? So those were a few nuggets that Holy Spirit gave to me 
to give to you. I pray that for those who is for you, receive it, um, meditate on it, and let it bless your life, okay? Let it bless your day. But if something is resonating with you from today and tomorrow I'm doing something different, stay on today. <laughs> stay on that one, okay? Don't move ahead, just stay on it. Meditate, 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 meditate on God's word and focus on it, okay? And like I wanna remind you, if somebody out there belongs to Jesus Christ, it's time for you to stop skipping around and being all into everything. Listen, I'll give one illustration before I go. I am a martial arts student. In fact, I am testing this December for my second degree black belt, okay? Yay! It takes a lot of practice, it takes a lot of fumbles, fail, the failures, um, you name it. This it's, is not necessarily a walk in the park, all right? In fact, for me, it is, it's not. I do see some students look like it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy for them, but not so much for me, all right? Um, that said, there are so many Taekwondo studios in this town, let alone, you know, the state, the nation, all over the place. But I don't go, and when we go to competitions, um, we are fighting these different schools and the people that come from them, that's great. But I'm not learning from everybody out there. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm learning as I observe them and some people have some great things to offer and, and you're like, wow, they do it like that? Oh, that's neat. And, you, and if, it, if it works for you and you wanna incorporate, that's fine. But I don't go from school to school to school each week trying to obtain my second Dan. I learn from my school, and in Taekwondo, the um, instructors are called masters and grandmasters. And um, I learn from my grandmaster, okay? And he has been doing it for a gazillion years, and he has learned from other instructors, okay? And even though he has instructors under him that I do learn from as well, at the end of the day, we all stop. And if he says something, that's who we take the instruction from. Again, if I go to tournaments, I do see other martial artists, um, you know, doing great things. And I might take a little nugget, oh, but at the end of the day, I don't go hopping all around the place. I try to become a master from the teaching and training that I'm getting from the most senior person in my school, okay, who in this case happens to be the founder of my school. Okay, and so that's what we mean when we say belong to Christ. It's not that you might not see somebody doing some excellent meditation work and practicing self-disciplines over in that um, faith practice. Get Listen, if it blesses you, and you, you use it. But Jesus is my master teacher, okay? And there's a benefit for... Um, staying put. You don't want to be a jack of all trades and a master of none. Okay? It's nice to, to know some things and have that sophistication and be cosmopolitan in that way, but you want to stay focused and try to master something. And I, and I know, I know that that is um, oftentimes what we're missing in society today. Everybody's an expert at everything and their op opinions abound, but you don't see a whole lot of mastery. All right, and usually when people do see it, they can't relate, and so they try to dumb that person down. And that's not what you want to do. Your spirit and who you are as spirit, God in you as you, is just too important to sacrifice and have spread all around. Okay, so those are my nuggets to share. Like I said, the most important thing is that you read the scripture and what is Holy Spirit saying to you. So what has Holy Spirit said to you? Leave it in the comments, okay? Leave it in the comments because I really want to know. I'm excited about that. Um, you can leave in the comments something just based on the scripture alone or based on the nuggets that I have shared. I'll be excited to read them, okay? Also, make sure you subscribe, okay? And ring the bell so that you can get notifications every time I put up a post. Listen, Spirit Scholars, know that you are loved because indeed you are. And know that I am coming at you with the joy that gives me strength. Abundant love, beloveds.